Gallery is very much thankful to the You Kids channel for providing me a golden opportunity to present my knowledge on science experiment. So, my science experiment is floating object and sinking objects. So, let's get into my video and learn what are sinking objects and floating objects. Let's get started. So, I have kept some of the objects. It's a rolling pea. We use it to make chapati. Tasty, tasty chapatis. It's a marker. A teacher uses marker to teach the students and write on board. It's a key. It is used to open the locks. It's a scale. It's a bottle cap. It's a coin. It's a strong and heavy rock or stone. It's a paper. It's a glass made up of glass. It's a glass made up of steel. So let's check whether they are sinking objects or floating objects. So first is a rolling pea. Let's check. Wow, it floats. It means it's a floating object. Because of its density, it floats on water. Its density is lower than water, so it floats. And next is a key. Wow! It's sinking. It means that its density is higher than the density of water. So next is a marker. Wow! Yapure! It floats. It means it's a floating object. So next is a coin. I I use a coin to to eat a chocolate. I buy a chocolate. So now let's check paper. Wow! It's a floating object. Next, glass. Because of its density, it's a sinking object. Whereas, let's wow, it's a floating object. So, it's a sinking object because of its density and water's density. Its density is higher than the density of water. So, it's a sinking object. Whereas, this glass made up, of, made up of steel is, its density is 
lower than the density of water. So yeah, we have completed our experiment. So guys, please like, share and subscribe. And I hope you love this video. So bye bye. Thank you.